Much like any CAD system, 2D graphics are a basic way of depicting spatial ideas. Revit provides 2D drawing tools with its model lines command. With a tiled set of four views, draw some model lines on the floor 01 plan. The lines appear in the other views but are distorted because of the orthographic projection of the line in space onto a work plane. Open the floor 02 views and draw more model lines. Notice how they appear in the 3D view. You can define and activate additional work planes rather than just the ones aligned with the floor plan. From the architecture menu, use the reference plane tool to draw four reference planes in the floor 01 view to make a square. As you draw the reference planes, name them as front, back, left, and right. Use the set work plane command to activate the front reference plane as a work plane and set the south view as your active view for drawing. Use show work plane to see a 3D plane that is the current work plane. As work planes proliferate in a model, it can become important to name the work planes for easy activation and reference. Use the Properties panel to name a work plane. Note that work planes may also be moved, rotated, and changed in length and height. Notice that the lines drawn on that work plane move with the, wor with the work plane. Revit makes extensive use of a concept of hosting. Every object is attached to a particular plane. Even planes are attached to a plane created earlier. The levels are sort of super hosts and tend to prevail over other planes for defining the host relationship. Many objects are hosted on levels and may even have a bottom hosted on one level and a top hosted on another level. Ultimately, there is a root host that exists when a project is created and cannot be deleted. It is important to realize that everything in Revit is hosted. Be aware of the concept as it provides powerful capabilities to efficient modeling and work. It can be very useful to pin the work plane so that you don't accidentally move it. As you draw model lines, note that you can change the line style with a drop-down menu. You can also choose an existing line and change its line style. You can make new line styles using the Manage Additional Settings Line Style command. 